tonight. A 10-year-old boy was left behind in the school office after everybody yeah. else went home for the day. Uh, the boy's mother said her son was there for a stomach ache but was forgotten when it came time for dismissal. This happened at Abbott Elementary in Ann Arbor. Jacqueline Francis there uh, after talking with the family. Jacqueline? The boy tells us that he took a nap in the office and when he woke up, everyone was gone. Now, luckily, he was OK and his parents were quick to find him. But the family says they want some accountability here. Like, I was like scared because I didn't have nobody with me. I didn't have my parents with me. This is 10 year old Jaquan, a fourth grade student at Abbott Elementary in Ann Arbor. He says on Monday he went to the office with a stomach ache. They had him lie down and when he woke up, the office was dark, the door was locked and everyone was gone. Nobody was in there to like wake me up or anything. His mom, Shaquana Leverett, is furious, saying she panicked when her son didn't get off the bus Monday after school. She sent her fiance to the school to look for him. Luckily, he was able to get in through the after school program. Someone inside said they had seen Jaquan earlier in the office. So they went to the office and started banging on the door and it was locked and dark and closed because everybody was gone for the day because it was dismissal. They said the janitor did not have a key to the office, only the principal did. They end up finding my son walking out the library from the office. Jaquan's mother wants answers. I feel like they feel me and my fiance as keeping my kids safe as well as, you know, leaving him there locked in the dark, like not even checking on him. And he went to the office because he had the tummy ache and they did not even call me on that. Jaquan's mother said when she called the school the next day, the principal was very apologetic and took full responsibility. The district itself says there's an investigation into the matter and that they don't comment on ongoing investigations. Reporting live in Ann Arbor, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. Yeah, all right, Jacqueline. Wow.